Okay. Hi and uh, welcome. We're here at DevOps uh, with uh, Ludovic Champenois. Welcome, yeah. Ludo. Uh, we're here to talk about uh, cloud from Google and specifically uh, Google App Engine and Google Compute Engine, which is uh, the latest one. So. Welcome, uh, Ludo. Uh, you had a presentation here at DevOps. You mentioned um, App Engine, yeah. and uh, it's been around for a while. It's been kind of the pioneer in platform as a service clouds. Uh, what have you been up to? And by the way, you're the lead, the Java lead for uh, the, yeah, the I'm App taking care of the Java runtime for App Engine. Uh, yeah, I mean App Engine is a very long story. It started in uh, 2008, and only last year uh, it came out of preview. So. Uh, so people could really uh, use this service uh, in, a, in a professional manner. So it was out of preview last year, November, and since then we have done uh, almost 12 releases, so one per month. Wow. So you can imagine every month, every single month, we, we keep adding uh, services to, to it and uh, tuning the load balancer, or tuning the scalability of the service. So you have new features regularly, so can you mention a few of those new features that uh, Yeah, so out? I mean, over the last year, we, we added, uh, I think, Python 2.7, Go as a, a supported langu language. Uh, we we re-architecture the uh, data store from master slave to a uh, high replication uh, data store. Uh, so so much you added more something scalable. very interesting called data splitting or traffic splitting? Uh, we have tra traffic splitting where you can split the traffic, be, I mean, uh, uh, based on IPs or cookies between different versions of the same application. So, for example, you can try uh, some of your traffic to newer uh, version of your application. Awesome. So, uh, one of the new things I hear is uh, European data centers. So, can you tell us what that yeah, is? Yes. So, it was, uh, I think it was announced at Google I.O. In, in July and uh, it's starting uh, ramping up. So, for example, before it was only open to premier customer. And I think now we can uh, open it to uh, all the build customers. So it's basically App Engine, but running in Europe in, uh, of course, multiple data centers, but with a gu guarantee that uh, your data and uh, processing power will stay in Europe. Okay. So customers are, are built in Euro, and it's uh, much easier to, to be a customer when you are from Europe. So as the Java lead, I need to ask you this question. Uh, Java 7 yeah. on App Engine? Interesting, yes. <laughs> So we are, uh, yes, of course, working on Java 7. In fact, the version of this month is uh, in preview mode for a, trust, a trusted tester. And we'll open it to everyone in December. So you can start testing your application with Java 7. Uh, even if you do not use uh, Java 7, the new features, not all of them are exposed yet in App Engine because we are still running the security audit uh, around the Java 7 runtime. And you have seen recently some uh, hacks trying to uh, to enter, I mean, uh, break the security of the JDK 7 itself that have been promptly fixed by Oracle, but security is a very important feature at Google, and we want to make sure that uh, your application will run securely in Java 7. Awesome, so looking forward to that before the end yes. of the year, Java 7. So in terms of developer experience, nowadays people expect um, integration with Maven, with uh, continuous integration, mm -hmm. and you know they have all those workflows. How well do we so, does yeah, that work? So with? for Maven, uh, the news of this month is we are working on a, on a, on, so first of all, we publish all the Maven artifacts for all the jars and libraries and SDK uh, for App Engine. And what we are adding this month is a new plugin where you can interact with App Engine itself. So start the local SDK, update your application, update your backends, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So all this from, from Maven uh, PUM, PUM rules. Okay. Uh, but we are also working with uh, two uh, partners. One of them is uh, EXO uh, to do development on the web uh, in the cloud. Uh, and I don't know if you have seen a demo of EXO ID, uh, but you can you can open uh, a Maven project that you host on GitHub uh, in the web and start editing it and deploying either to a local SDK running in the cloud or the real App Engine uh, runtime. So you don't need a laptop anymore, you need a Chromebook. I mean, with a Chromebook, you can uh, effectively develop your App Engine app 
Yeah, I've want. actually used Cloud IDE yes. and it's very impressive. So, yeah. So this is uh, really for developers, not for testing and uh, building on a continuous uh, manner. We have also done a partnership with uh, CloudBees and their uh, dev platform where you can uh, run uh, Jenkins builds, uh, building your App Engine app, and the, as a post step for this build, you can deploy to App, en to app Engine as well. Okay, that's, that, that's great. That I think uh, helps uh, developers with their uh, tasks, daily tasks. They're all used to using Jenkins now. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah, this a is no a, yeah, I mean, outside of internal Google, I mean, this is a, the de facto standard outside, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so let's switch gears a little bit. Uh, you talked about uh, App Engine, but you also talked about Compute Engine. So mm -hmm. tell us, this is uh, infrastructure as a service running on Google's infrastructure. Yeah, so I mean, App Engine is a big part of the uh, cloud offering from Google, but uh, we recently introduced uh, Compute Engine, which is uh, more, I mean, getting, uh, getting from the bottom creating VMs and uh, networks connecting those VMs in a massive uh, scalable manner, okay? The, the demo at Google I.O. Uh, was using 600,000 cores to, to run, I mean, uh, some computation on, on, on Google Cloud. So it's basically Linux uh, kernel that uh, you can create and boot on demand uh, and, uh, and install whatever software you, 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 you want. Okay, and uh, so there's the notion of API that you use to manage all of this because it's at, at a scale if you have hundreds of thousands or even hundreds of... Uh, yeah, so, so, so the, the way you manipulate this compute engine framework is uh, via uh, a REST call, so uh, it's a RESTful uh, web services with uh, JSON payload. And we have a command line tool and a nice web UI that allows you to create your payload, see it, so you can learn how to interact with uh, Compute Engine very easily. So if I post the proper JSON um, you know, workload, I can actually create an instance and have it running? Yeah, one or 10,000 of them. Of course. Depending on your uh, credit card uh, account. And why would I do this? Do I get any benefit of running my uh, virtual machines in Google's data center? When yeah, because so, so once you have a, a VM running inside the Google data center, then this VM has the most powerful network access to other Google services, whether it's uh, cloud storage or MySQL or data store. So all the services will run in the, in the same data center, so the communication will be optimal between those services. Great, so lots of progress on App Engine, Compute Engine yes. coming yeah. soon. This is still in preview or in uh, so, so Compute Engine is still in preview and uh, yeah, selected uh, trusted tester. Uh, we are looking for you know massive computation uh, partners uh, okay. be before uh, opening it more to uh, to uh, to more developers. Okay, great. Well, I guess that's all the time we have for it. Thank you, Ludo, for thank you for uh, spending me. the time and yep. uh, answering those questions. Bye. Cheers.